Hello, young technicians. I'm back again uh, with this uh, timing, uh, engine timing series that I promised you. Um, if you have watched my first video, um, I hope you have enjoyed it. So I'm continuing with what I promised you. I told you that I'll be, I'll be bringing you a series uh, on this timing, uh, engine timing. So today we are going to talk about the tensioner timing belt tensioner so this is our timing belt and this is our tensioner okay we want to look at the tensioner and see what is the purpose of a tensioner why do we need it how does it have to be fitted is there a specific way of fitting it or you can just put it anyhow uh, what tension do we need so we want to try and answer some of those questions so now with a tensioner, uh, the purpose is to provide the right tension for the belt. Okay, so with experience, uh, I, there is a machine that you can actually use to, uh, to check the uh, belt tension, but I don't have. But with experience, you end up knowing, okay, you end up knowing, uh, especially if I can turn it like this and then I see how it flexes, you end up knowing whether the belt uh, is too tight or it is not. But here is the other thing as well. You put, the manufacturer will tell you uh, where to put, if you see that arrow, see that arrow in there, okay? It is not in the right position. That arrow should be in that gap there. See that space that is in there? That's where that arrow should be. Okay, so you have to follow uh, the manufacturer's instructions on this. Remember, this is an uh, Audi A5 engine. It's a two liter engine. And I will take you, if I can, if I will be able to, I'll take you to the uh, auto data and show you what I'm telling you about, uh, about the position of that pointer. It has to be in the right position, okay? And then we've got this wee hole here. Okay, that we hold there, uh, we can, we, you put an Allen key in there so that you can uh, tension or undo the tension. So when you follow the arrow this way, uh, if you go in the direction of the arrow, you are actually tensioning the belt, you're increasing the tension. But if you go anti-clockwise, the direction of the arrow, you are slackening. Uh, this belt. When do you need to slacken? You need to slacken when you are changing the belt. You'll have to uh, undo the tension and then that's that will allow you to remove uh, this belt once you remove the tension. Okay, so remember we said we put an Allen key in here and that Allen key uh, will, uh, will we use it to adjust the tension. Okay, so what else? And as well, you can see it has got this lip here that you have here. That's just to guide the belt. Okay, it does guide the belt, all right? So the other thing that I want to show you is that part there. You see in there? Very, very, very important. Don't make a mistake of fitting this tension, tension, uh, a timing tensioner and forget to make sure that you locate that we lag in that wall there. That's what holds it in position and then you can now tension it. Make sure that is done. If you don't do it right, I can assure you that there will be a problem uh, with your timing, all right? So watch out for that. Very, very, very uh, essential. Uh, to for for you as a, as a technician when you are do or doing your timing and you are tensioning you can see I'm focusing uh, on the tension today and so it is that part and also that we needle there very very crucial uh, when you are dealing with these uh, Volkswagen engines or Audi or Skoda. Okay, they are all the same family. Now, uh, let's look at the 
uh, let me see. Let's look at the uh, at this nut here. Okay, that nut that you see. See this nut here, right? That's what when you have put the right tension, the needle is in the right position, the lug is in the right position, and then your belt is sitting properly. First, you want to make sure that your belt, uh, the teeth are sitting in the spaces properly, and you check on the pump, you check on the, on the crankshaft side, you check that on the water pump, you come and check that as well on the uh, fuel pump and you do the same on the chem cog okay make sure that the belt is sitting perfectly all right and then now when you have your allen key in here hold your allen key in the position that allows your needle to be in that space there and when you hold your allen key then you can now start tightening that nut. If you over tighten it, you're going to strip the threads. If you under tighten it and, and it loosens, and then you're going to be in trouble because the tension on the belt is going to slacken. And if the tension is going to, if this tension is going to slacken, and then the timing is going to jump out of position and you're in trouble the whole engine is going to be wrecked. And do you know how much it's gonna cost you? I'm talking about thousands of pounds here. We are talking about over 2,000 to replace this engine because once you wreck it, you have wrecked a lot of things, okay? Usually with these, um, you wreck the cams. Sometimes they actually, those lobs that you see in there, they'll move position and everything the timing is lost completely the camshaft and the crankshaft are not agreeing then now you have less lost your cam crank correlation so this is one sensitive part of doing the timing it has to be done right you have to put your mind and soul together when you are doing this so observe the tightening talks uh, for this nut here, please. Um, but with experience, I know technicians don't even use a torque wrench. I know some of the senior technicians will be laughing to say, what are you doing, James? Yes, I have to train these young fellas the right way. I've seen a lot of young fellas who don't even know what a torque wrench looks like because they don't use it in work. That's not a good way of training young technicians. So even you DIY guys, I know you fall in this category of young technicians. There you go, there is the information. If you choose to do this by yourself, you really, really need to be very, very careful. Now, uh, just to finish off this video, I brought uh, the Allen key. So when you are re taking away the tension, okay? This is what you do. You can see that needle, look where it is now. So if we are, if we are going to tension, this is what we have to do, all right? It has to come right here. And then we lock that nut there, all right? So now, if we want to remove the belt, we move this tensioner and you can see that I have lost, you know, the tension. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Watch out for the next video on this one. But uh, you, if you haven't watched my first video on this series, please, I'm going to attach it to this video so that um, you can understand where I started from. I was talking about the cramp crank correlation. It is important for you to understand the relationship between the crankshaft and the camshaft. So thank you very much. Watch my next video and I hope you'll enjoy this. And please remember to subscribe to Jamro's Electronic Solutions. Maybe before I go away, um, let me confirm what I promised. Let me show you what I promised earlier on. This is what I'm getting from Autodata. 
this is where we locate our tensioner okay that's that locating place and also remember what i said about the position of that we pin or that needle there it has to be located between uh, the two lugs and the allen key that i was telling you about okay so you can see that it is important it's an instruction that you have to follow if you want your timing belt to be tensioned at the right tension and also to make sure that the engine timing is healthy nothing will happen because this is the expensive part if this timing goes wrong there is a lot of money to be paid